This tutorial will show you how to configure our user sync functionality together with Azure AD to synchronize your users and groups into your Atlassian application. We will first start off in um, Azure AD to create an app registration so that we have an API endpoint for the Craft API. And then we'll go to our plugin to configure a connector within our user sync um, so that we can actually um, start synchronizing users over from your Azure AD um, into, um, into the Atlassian application. I will also do a little bit of talk through of some of the most important features. And um, at the end, we'll run a sync and verify um, that the synchronization um, succeeded. We're now on portalazure.com. So we go to app registrations, which essentially um, gives us an entry point, an API endpoint to use the uh, Craft API. Select new registration here. Give it a name. I always take the instance name. Up, um, so that I can find it again. Um, we want to do this for accounts in our um, directory. Let's say register and that creates um, um, this app registration. Now the next thing we need to do is um, look at the permissions that this app registration gets. So what can we actually access um, within um, Azure via this app? So let's go to API permissions got user read already. Um, now we need to add one. Microsoft Craft, application permissions. I'm going to type directory here. And here you find the directory read all. Say add permission. And the next thing is we need to grant admin consent um, so that an admin has accepted that we can use this. So grant admin consent and say yes. So now you see this is done. So from now on, we could use this. Um, the next thing we need is a essentially a password, so a secret to access this. Let's go to certificates and secrets. New client secret. Well, that also needs a description. And um, it also wants to know what uh, the expiry date for that secret is. So um, that's really your choice what you select here. Uh, however, once that expires, it means you need to create a new one and you also need to swap it out um, on user sync. I'm going to do 24 months. You could also do custom and take it in to 2099, um, which essentially creates a um, secret that never expires if that's what you like to do. So I created it. Now I've got the value here. So I'm, go I'm going to copy it to the clipboard. And this is the only time I'm going to see it. So um, save that because you'll need it in our app um, um, in a minute as well. But that's essentially everything we have to do on the Azure side to create this API endpoint. So now let's swap over to Jira and configure our user sync functionality there. So you see I'm already in uh, user management and you can see at the moment I only have a admin user, nothing else. So um, once you installed our um, app, you have the tab um, user sync on the left. So let's go there. And now we can create what we call a connector. So you see we implemented the API of a lot of the common identity providers, including Azure AD. So if we now want to create a connector that synchronizes to Azure AD. We go here to Azure and you can actually create multiple. Uh, you could have two or three connectors um, synchronizing users from different Azure tenants, for example. So, but for this tutorial, we'll just create one. So let's go to Azure here. Um, and now um, you see you are in the configuration screen here. So let's call that um, Azure AD. And you see it wants to have application ID the tenant ID and the application secret. I still have the secret copied, so I paste that here. And now to um, look up the application ID and the tenant ID, I need to go back to um, uh, Azure to copy it from there. So I'm back to Azure, go to overview of the app, and here's my application ID. I'm going to copy that, paste it here, and going back here, the directory ID is just below that. Let's copy that to the clipboard and 
go here. So, and that would essentially be everything that we need to configure to be able to synchronize um, um, with Azure AD. But nevertheless, I still want um, to talk you through a couple more settings um, over here, which may, might be um, interesting um, to you. So the first one is required groups. Um, if you don't want to synchronize all users from Azure into your Atlassian application, then you can specify groups here. Um, that will be groups that exist on Azure and um, only users in these Azure groups will actually get synchronized into the um, Atlassian application. So if you have something like a um, Jira users group on Azure, you could put that in here in required groups, Jira users, and then only users from that group would, um, would be synchronized. Now, quickly going to go to provisioning settings here. Um, with, um, with the attribute mapping down here, you could map um, more fields from the um, Azure API into um, uh, fields in Jira or um, on Confluence, for example, you have a lot more user profile fields um, to write them in here. Um, but also here's a section about group man uh, management. The default setting for our user sync is that it takes um, um, Azure AD as the um, single source of truth. So the group memberships will get synchronized and all group memberships will get synchronized. And if a user gets removed from a group in Azure, he'll get removed from that same group in, um, in the Jira application or the Atlassian application. If that's not what you want, if you want, um, for example, to only use local groups or mix between local and Azure groups, um, that's what you have to configure in group mem um, management here, or if you want to filter groups so that you only um, assign some selected groups from Azure um, to that user. That's what you um, configure here in group management. Read the documentation about it, and if you have any questions, that sometimes is the most complicated part of the configuration. If you have any questions, especially also if you migrate existing users into this, um, then really reach out to our support or schedule a screen share session with us. Um, we're really happy to help you with that um, and get it working very well. And as always, try this in a dev instance before you do that on your production system. Last but not least, um, let's go to the um, sync settings. And um, here you can turn on um, scheduled synchronization. The default is that the synchronization will run once an hour. You can modify that with a cron expression here. If you have a, a small Azure um, since so like 500,000, 2,000 users, then once an hour is absolutely um, uh, fair to do. If you have your 100, 150,000 users in there, um, then you wanna then the syncs take some time, so you wanna schedule that down a little bit. And again, if you need advice here, then contact us. We're happy to help. So that's all that we need to do. Let's say save and return. And now you see we have a um, connector here. Um, it's never synced, so let's kick off a sync now. See the status is running, result is pending um, because the um, sync is going on. Let's wait for that. And you see it's starting, add, uh, starting to add users into my instance. We'll probably speed that up later a little bit. One cup of coffee later, um, you see um, we're done. It's been a success. Um, took four minutes, 21 seconds to create nearly 12,000 users. Um, so that sync was a success. And this would happen um, once an hour from uh, now on with the, um, uh, based on the schedule. So let's close this. We see done with success. And um, here in the history tab, um, you'll see all the previous things and details. So if something failed, you can have a look there and um, see the same detail section that we did before. Um, let's just quickly look what this has done. Um, so let's go to user management. And now you see I nearly have 12,000 users in this instance, so it created a lot of the users here um, and their group memberships as well. Uh, behind the scenes, I'm just going to quickly go to user directories. 
it actually created an additional directory called SID of the type internal. So um, every connector gets this um, internal directory that behaves like a normal Jira directory uh, where it synchronizes users um, into. So this also respects the directory order. Um, if you know what it is, um, then um, it just behaves like a normal Jira directory is what I'm trying to say. So that's it. That's all it's needed to synchronize your users and groups from Azure AD into um, the Atlassian application.